Thank you very much. My name is Gaze Emmanuel, okay. and I'm the director for technical services with the Community Water and Sanitation Agency in Ghana. Great. And um, can you tell me a little bit about what the initiatives are right now in Ghana? Right. Uh, I have honestly believe in the African solution, and I think that things, solutions should be provided by Africans, and we should pursue it as Africans, and we should move at a pace that will make us achieve what we need to achieve as Africans. And based on that, uh, there is a, a, a huge initiative in Ghana now, supported purely from our national resources. And the idea is to drill 20,000 boreholes to cover a period of five years, on the average doing about 4,000 boreholes a year. This is actually being mobilized through our own resources, all the stakeholders, the active stakeholders, are all national, na nationally oriented. And we think that if the pace at which we are going and the resources are made available, we'll be able to achieve universal coverage by the year 2016. Which is very impressive. How do you tackle the issue of sustainability? We, we work together in right. Ghana on that. Right. Uh, honestly, this whole initiative the intent is to, of course, increase access. But as we actually move along that tangent, we are also running a parallel program that is to ensure eventually that all these facilities that are put in place will be sustained eventually. And that program is also rolling out. So we, we actually effecting a big balance between access and then sustainability. And these two programs are running parallel. And as we provide more facilities, we again also testing the issues of sustain, how to sustain these facilities on the ground. And these two programs are, are run by, and we think that it's a very, very good match for us to be able to achieve our national targets of access, national coverage or investor coverage, and also sustainability, ensuring that these are sustained in the future. And what would you say are right now the next steps or let's say the biggest challenges on the way to the 20,000 goal? I mean, how do you get the people to work together, logistics, which, which part is, you know, right. do you feel is the, the big deal? Right. I think the biggest challenge is the availability of resources. But as we speak now, at least a third of the resources required for this year to actually achieve that program has been made available. And the other challenge we think is the capacity of the private sector. Again, we have mobilized them in such a way. And we have put, of course, the constraints, we have put the blocks down there. If we don't have the requisite uh, uh, capacity, obviously you cannot participate. But so far, the responses that we are getting indicate that we would have an optimal capacity to be able to achieve the program. That, But these are the two key challenges that I see. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir.